How many IVF embryos should I pool? We are now routinely pooling embryos for many patients who want to postpone having a baby. These are usually young women, who don't want to have a baby right now because they want to pursue a career, but understand that babies born from the eggs of older moms have a higher risk of being abnormal, and older women, who understand that time is at a premium for them, which is why they need to generate as many embryos as possible, before they can think about transferring them. As a woman gets older, it's her ovarian reserve which drops, while her uterine receptivity remains the same, no matter what her age. The tricky question is, how many embryos should they store, before they start transferring them? Now, if the implantation rate was, 100%, and they wanted two babies born a few years apart to complete their family, then we would need to freeze just two blastocysts, and transfer them one at a time. Sadly, we know that, about 50%, of top quality blastocysts will have genetic defects, and will not implant. Sadly, we do not have the technology to either prevent this or diagnose it, because PGT, preimplantation genetic testing, is unreliable and flawed, and generates incorrect information. This is why we tell patients that if they want to have one baby, they should plan to store at least four top quality blastocysts, because the cumulative conception rate is, more than 80%, if you transfer these four, one at a time, over four cycles. This way, not only have you stacked the odds in your favor, you also have peace of mind that you have done your best. Subscribe to our YouTube channel.